CBS 2's Dana Kozlov live at O'Hare Airport with a third night of protests. Dana. Robin, Erica, the situation here at O'Hare is still very fluid. I just spoke with immigration attorneys a few minutes ago. They say 40 people were held for longer here in the customs area for secondary questioning is what they're calling it. Two people were sent back to their country of origin. A visa was confiscated. It belonged to somebody from Syria. And three people have been detained, including a boy from Jordan. They are continuing to try to work that all out as protests continue. A symbolic moment as a volunteer at O'Hare's International Terminal secures a U.S. flag. It's an indication this makeshift legal office will be an airport fixture for a while. We're tracking two Jordanian nationals um, who are coming on tourist visas. One appears to have been sent back. Heather Donnell is one attorney offering her time, making sure any refugee or immigrant who needs help gets it. It's the result of President Donald Trump's executive order restricting immigrants from seven countries, suspending refugee entry for 120 days, and banning Syrian refugees indefinitely. No hate. No fear. A federal judge stayed the order, but this Chicago resident says it made coming home scary. We were just scared because we're Muslim. I mean, we're American citizens. I was born and raised here, but it's still scary. It's not a right. Like, you know, we are human beings. We are all the Muslim, uh, Indi uh, like, you know, the people. So they cannot treat us the Muslim like this. Others were stunned to exit amidst protests. It was just surprising walking in and seeing everything. Despite the third day of immigration upheaval, most returning to Chicago say customs went smoothly. It wasn't bad. It was very straightforward. How Sally Yates' removal at the Department of Justice will impact arrivals here in the International Terminal tomorrow is not yet clear, but attorneys say they will be keeping a close eye and ear on that situation. We are live at O'Hare International Airport. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you.